Welcome back to our Let's Play of Mass Effect 3. Anything else? The Cerberus scientists are safe with the Alliance. The Brass thinks they'll be a big help on the Crucible. First Grissom Academy, now this. Nice work. You know how fighter pilots put those little stamp things under their cockpits for each kill? I'm thinking of getting one by the galaxy map every time I analyze the crap out of some data. You're turning into a regular Marine. Yeah. Well... I guess you're rubbing off on me. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. It feels good to bring someone out alive. Commander? Alright, anything new? Nope. <coughs> <coughs> Wish I could help Miranda more. Let's get the Asari colony. <laughs> oh wait. I should probably do that. And the other thing is showing up. Wait, I didn't finish here, did I? I didn't actually tell what's her face. You're clear to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need a cab to the Presidium. It'll be there momentarily. Okay. Let's go tell her. I think I have to tell her. Nope, it's done already. Damn it. Okay, so I guess we'll do that, uh, a sorry thing. Investigate a sorry colony. I don't think there's anything here. This place is at a hundred percent, right? Yeah. Bless us. Sorry, so we'll bring Liara and uh, let's bring Caden again. More ammo. up any information on the mission, Liara? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? Morinth chose to be a killer. These Ardat Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. Magnified biotics, eh? Great. 
What's our strategy? If there was a chance the Arya Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Morinth was dangerous, but are the Arya Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Arya Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free. And why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. Don't assume anything. Maybe the Ardat Yakshi sent out the distress call. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once we give a report to High Command, they'll stop wasting lives here. I think the Arduk Yashi were the, uh, the Asari that kill anybody they sleep with and gain some of their power. There's heat coming off that shuttle. Someone just used it. Huh. Nothing out here. Oh, except for that. Elevator disabled. To prevent entry or escape, I wonder. Listen. There's a lot more than one. What's going on here? A pretty big temple. What was that? Stay sharp. Oh, there's uh This was the commando's captain. It seems they gave their lives fighting the Reapers. This monastery is out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Arda Yakshi? Anything useful? A floor plan marked with the nav point location of a bomb. It's inside the Great Hall. So the commandos started the purge after all. Are that Yaksha or not? Evacuating this place would have saved a lot of lives. If there's no survivors, let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. All right. I wonder if uh, a Yardak Ardak Yashi sleeps with another Ardak Yashi, do they kill each other? What happens there? for the uh, Citadel. Let's see what that was. Uh, look at it later.
Very good. I almost oh, Samara. Hear you. Samara. It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. I assume you're here on your own, Justicar. Perhaps for something special? You are correct. Two of my daughters live here, and I have come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already invested this place by the time I arrived. You met me hunting down your other Arda Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Valer and Rila have followed the monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. We're out of time. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Let's go. Sad music. I need to look at that thing before I forget it. Alright, restaurant on the on the citadel. I don't know what I picked up. I really don't. This place is enormous. There must have been thousands of people living here. I haven't seen any survivors. Me neither. And I bet most of them were civilians. Sense of fight coming. What is that? Oh, this is the banshee. The first time I was supposed to see the banshee, isn't it?
appears to be a person. An Asari. What have the Reapers done? Ah, so Banshees are Asari that um, are transformed into uh, into husks. What are those big guys? Lolis? Uh... Krogan? Could be Krogan. No, they're too small to be Krogan. Mother, you came. As soon as I was able. Shepard, this is Falaire, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have Mother, been... they have Rila. What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... into those... monsters. Please. You can't let that happen to Rila. The Asari thought the Ardat Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. That's true. Most Why would they attack themselves? To be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words with pride. <laughs> Alright. Then we have to find Rila fast. Great Hall has a bomb in it. A bomb? What, didn't you come to rescue people? I we'll did. We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Blair. You sound like the commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Blair. I'm sorry. Blair. The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. We'll meet you there. Please be swift. Your boobs are ridiculous. Anyway, uh... Yes, continuing on to the Great Hall. Looks like we have to go the long way around, though. I mean, I'm sure we could make that jump, but game wants us to go the long way around, so we will. Jethro, this is Galay. I've blocked extranet access. We don't need the students panicking about these Reaper rumors. Still, it will not hurt to tally our supplies. Please bring me an inventory before evening prayer. I'll contact Sethia later tonight to inquire what set the Asari to war. Go in peace. All right. Switch back to old shoddy. Switch back to sniper. Disciple. Shoulder guards. I want to see something really fast. I have been on casual this whole time. That really sucks. Well, now we're on normal. Now it should get a lot harder from this point on. I feel bad about that.
Man, that really sucks. How did I end up on casual? Have I been on casual this entire time? Is that why this game seems so easy? Yeah, these things were going down in two shots. Now they're going... Oh! Oh! A headshot is always effective. Soldiers in a monastery. A sorry high command couldn't take a chance with Ardat Yakshi. Something had to be done. Sending commandos with explosives is more damage control than a real plan, Lyra. I'm gonna have to agree with uh, Caden there. Or just Garfred. And Valer. Oh, that's Valer. They've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Is there no hope for her? Can we set off that bomb? Not without a detonator. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find her. <laughs> Wait. 
later. Oh shit, there's two of them. First time I have to use first aid. Jesus Christ. Shotgun. It's too slow. Ow. These things are a lot. For now, let's get back to that bomb. Since they're a lot tougher, we're not we're not on easy mode. I think those are worth more experience points, though. Either that, or it's because I'm later in the game. What about her? All she was, all they did was knock her over. Uh, she choked you last time. Solaire, go. Take the elevator. Rila, what, what are you doing? It's too late for me. There are hundreds coming. Just go. Move. So to find out what uh what reason they had for coming here. Uh, those things are a lot scarier now that I seen their origin. She blowed it up. That's two daughters down. One to go. No, I'm just kidding. That's sad. And scary. Reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary. 
as was her love for you. We left her to die. <laughs> Rila made her choice, and it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Palea, the code demands an Ardak Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Palea. Can we just find her another monastery? My daughters, you were all so. Let go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away. I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer. I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. Oh, you should have visited a while ago. I'd understand if you wanted to help Falaire rebuild a home here. It must wait now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Falaire, then join your forces. If you'll have me, of course. Of course. I'd be honored. The honor is mine, my friend. I can't believe she was about to shoot herself. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring sort in the of. shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. You do that, smartass. I read your report, Commander. We had no idea the situation had deteriorated so quickly. That's why I set off the bomb. There were no Arda Yakshi left. May the Ardat Yakshi find rest. What the Reapers did to them was monstrous. I had another team of commandos headed to the monastery who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. They'll serve you loyally, Commander. Farewell. All right. Lance credits. So what do we got? We got the Volus Blami... The bombing fleet, Citadel Defense Force, updated. the last one I did. I messed up on that one. Got Zaid back. Got the Asari Commandos. Samara. The uh, improved Ezo ca uh, capacitors. And Torian Six Fleet. Six thousand. 
think it go, probably goes up to like 10,000. I'm nowhere near that. I don't know how close I have to be for the best ending of this game. Commander, Dr. Chakwas sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. Why? The Crucible Project received some new tech from the Asari government. I'm glad they've decided to help the war effort. Everybody has to fight now, no matter how pretty you are. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Commander? Sound a little arrogant. Okay. Shepard, remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. But it hasn't been a year yet. Yes. Well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so indulge my impatience. Doctor, put that bottle in a safe place. We'll crack it open to celebrate our victory over the Reapers. Admire your optimism, and I'll look forward to the day we can share it. Till then. So, Udina finally went over the edge. I never really liked the man. Now I know why. Yeah. No crew health issues to report. I never liked him either. Okay. I'm not sh Oh, here we are. Sorry, squad ready. Head for the front lines. Alright, tomorrow we'll be on the Citadel. Jacob. And Crucible update. See if uh, Edie has anything to say. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> All right, here's another one. Uh, dates back to the Rachni Wars. So a Krogan and a Thalarian have landed on a Rachni world for a top secret mission. That is unlikely. Thalarians rarely took part in raids on Rachni occupied worlds directly. <sighs> Missing the point. So the two guys are climbing up a hill, going through this nasty green fog. And as they get near the top, they come out of the fog, and the Solarian sees thousands of Rachni. He looks over at the Krogan and says, Oh, well, that makes me nervous! The Krogan says, You think that's scary? When this is over, I have to go back down through that fog by myself! The implication being that the Solarian soldier would be dead. Yes. Thank you for killing the 2,000-year-old joke. <laughs> that joke plays to racial stereotypes on both sides. The Krogan appears brutish and insensitive, while the Solarian appears weak. Stereotypes such as exemplified here led to the development and use of the genophage. <laughs> well, well, yeah. It's also one of the only jokes you'll hear both Solarians and Krogan telling. Comedy isn't really about being nice. Sometimes it's a way to air out the ugly things people think. Glad you talked to Mara down. I never thought I'd see her flinch from her duty. I don't know. On one hand, that code's all she's had to live by for, God, centuries. Then the galaxy goes to hell, the old rules don't cut anymore. I mean, we're cutting some corners, right? A few. Well, the Alliance can always court-martial us after we save the galaxy. Commander? What are you doing, Edie? Monitoring reports of proton storms and other space weather. With the Reapers attacking the Convery systems, critical warnings may be lost. How bad are these storms? If we are warned, not bad. If we are not warned, very bad. Thanks for the info, Edie. Thank you, Edie.
Alright, so we're gonna head back to the Citadel again. So I have to find out who needs that one item. And I need to find Spar. Sorry, just stretch it a bit. You're clear to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. supplies please visit any of our Elkos com welcome to Kanala Expo thank you for shopping branches at Kanala for any and all personal needs okay so two things here Dinosaur bones. Sorry, the fossils. What's this store? Is the store always open? I got your message, Miranda. Ah, uh, here we are. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. I don't like secrets, Miranda. Just tell me what's going on. I can't, Shepard. If that's a problem, I'll go. Don't. Trust is a little hard to come by right now. Of course. All right. You'll have your access, Miranda. But I don't like the sound of this. I know. And thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? When I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. I think I heard this. I think this. you mentioned this. I did. There's more to it. The elusive man stopped me. Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me. Right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. 
I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? Yes. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how. But you brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. You can't keep beating yourself up over the past. I usually don't. But this was important. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. No, they can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. And Miranda, this thing you have to do. Good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. I bet you do. Alright. I'm not seeing anyone new to talk to. One second. Welcome to Serta. Be safe. Shake it again.
Nothing here. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Horde level purgatory. We are here to help you have the best shore leave. Wait, wait. You ask if I got heavy armor. I never said it was heavy armor. Uh and since when do you know anything about shield capacitors? I read about them. Did you say you sold your car a few weeks ago? Because that's around the time I got sent this new armor. Hey, hey, it's late. And I'm not letting my friend miss a night of purgatory, right? Do you want to go in, or do you want to talk about my car some more? Hmm. No. You're right. Let's go in. And I'm buying you some goddamn drinks. Excuse me. Yes, make it required reading. Light in the shadows, path in the Jesticar, all of it. I've made sure Arcathy is backing on this. I want every Asari maiden thinking with the mind of a huntress. Okay. Your turn. Counselor Tabor. Oh, I did that. But points off for attitude. Shaira the consort. Not finding uh Samara anywhere. I haven't been able to find where that you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. What are you doing on the Citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. Faler is safe, and Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. We'll make the galaxy proud. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. But Shepard, be sure to assess your force's strengths and weaknesses before setting out. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? 
Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. Was being a Justicar worth it if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such small discrepancies. Is that how you see it, too? You yourself killed a Reaper on the Citadel, and then another on Tachanka. I can only follow such bravery. Okay. Will Flair be alright in the monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Flair will find it. It was good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justica to dwell so much on her family. I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaire saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things. But Goddess, go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire soon enough. Okay. All that's left is the uh, person who takes the item I have. I will find them off screen so you don't have to worry about that. Until then, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a like. Share, comment, subscribe. It always helps me out. And when we come back, we'll probably do the mission for uh, the Geth and the Quarians. Uh, because... <laughs> That's all I got left. So, till then, have a good day, and take care.